Hello Cancer, how you doing? Let's see what energies and messages we have for you today. What energies and messages do we have for the sign of Cancer please? Concerning love. What does the sign of Cancer need to know concerning love? Chariot, travel, personal progress. There's movement there though. That's good. Something you've been struggling with a long, long while. Nine of Wands. You're hanging on to the past a bit. You're moving on, but you're, you're, you keep glancing back at the past. There's some residual energy. World card. There's a, there's a period in your life that's a scenario in your life that's coming to an end and new new one opening up love there was love there in the past i feel this energy is still lingering there's some emotion that you can't seem to let go of the moon card there's a lot of misgivings about this person, this situation, there's a lot going on that's not known. Three of Cups, reunions, getting back together with loved ones in the near future. But I feel there's also a third party situation here. The Hermit. You've been learning a few personal lessons along the way. You're changing, you're adapting. The personal persons you're dealing with, uh, this is their energy, justice. Could be some legal issues around this person. But there's karma there also. The Hierophant. Mm. Taurus energy. Strength card, Leo energy. Fire energy, Earth energy. A lot of inner strength. Coming back into your own power. Yeah, there's an ending here for you. Ten of Swords. An ending of a period where, you know, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of fighting. You just felt so disillusioned about this. To say you've learnt a lot from this experience, you're looking back with very, very different eyes to what you were a few months ago. You've come to a realisation about a certain person, a certain connection. Yeah. Very burdensome cycle. No communication, no movement. You've, you're learning to focus more though on what you really do want. And I feel you, on the money front, you've been frugal, which is different from being, you know, like a miser. I feel you've been doing this for a reason. You've been... Not hoarding the money, but, you know, no unnecessary spending, that sort of thing. For some of you, money's been tight. Looks like you're coming out of it, though. Look at this, Queen of Swords. Empress. Realisation. Following your own intuition and the speaking the truth. There's, the tr there's a truth been revealed here and it's ended a certain situation. It's caused a lot of confusion, a lot of heartache. I can see you breaking free though from a situation you... 
don't like or don't want to be in. And here, this is the sign of independence, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, celebrating your own freedom. Your confidence is very, very good. Or you're coming into your own. This is this is all this is all about you standing in your own power. Look. You're facing challenges, you know, with not with glee, but with a lot more strength. You've learnt from past mistakes. And now you're starting to put up healthy boundaries. You're not going to be, you know, abused in any kind of way. You're not going to be taken for granted. Mm. Fire energy, Queen of Wands. Very mature energy, fun loving, but you know, I do see some control issues here. You know, this person does like things their own way, but they're receiving karma. Things are being balanced out for them. There's feelings here that for this person that you can't shake off no matter how hard you try. Now for some of you this will be a soulmate. You know, this, this volcano here represents the emotions that neither of you are understanding, you can feel them. But you you keep getting pulled back towards this person. Mm. Who in the world with much different perspective, with much better interests, but there's a reluctance here to kind of bit of caution that's what I'm picking up I feel here there's an opportunity to meet this person and have a conversation with them yeah to put things right so that you can this is Sagittari Aries Leo Sagittarius energy more Sagittarius here putting things right making compromises it will take time, but I feel here this person does want to talk to you. There's some karma here that needs settling between two soulmates. Yeah, sudden, sudden abrupt endings and sudden new beginnings. And I feel this person wants to put some effort into this connection. Something you've been waiting for a long, long time. It come out of the blue. But this situation as it is now between you is, I feel, it's going to change. It's going to change. Things are going to be different from now on. You're standing up for yourself. You're, it's no longer going to be dancing to anybody else's tune. I hope that's helped you. And I wish you the very best of luck. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.